Today I am demonstrating dual glasses functionality uh, with the Xbox 360. Um, not too sure how exactly this is working, but I can explain to you exactly what I did here. So initially, I have my Xbox Series X running Killer Instinct, and that HDMI cable is going to this Picto 60 gigahertz wireless zero lag MM wave transmitter, which you've seen in uh, a couple of my videos already. And this just beams the signal from my entertainment system here wirelessly to the Picto receiver. And you can see that little light there is green. That means it is receiving the signal from the transmitter. And <clears throat> see here, I've got the transmitter powered and I also have this HDMI cable running from, I mean the receiver, and you see the HDMI cable running to this HDMI splitter. And from this HDMI splitter, which I, by the way, just grabbed out of the garage, this must be like six years old, um, I forgot I had it. Initially it wouldn't work, and I couldn't figure it out. Um, but I'll explain that in a minute. Anyway, I've got it running um, into this HDMI uh, to USB-C converter, and I have two of them. So I've got the GoFango and I've got the Elebase. And the only reason this works is because of this little thing. This is an EDID emulator. It's a little dongle that sits between, uh, you know, your HDMI source and your HDMI destination and just gives it extra information. Uh, in this case, for um, uh, reasons I won't explain in this video, um, I took the EDID information um, from the Vitra glasses and I stuck them into here uh, for a previous project I was doing. And this was just laying around with the Vitra EDID on it. EDID is like a uh, display identification. Um, I think that's what it stands for. The E, I don't know what that stands for, but uh, some sort of display identification. And this emulates it. So this has the full information. Uh, this basically t says, that I am a Vitra. And it sits in between the splitter and the, Go the GoFanko. And without this, none of this, none of this actually works. I don't know why. Um, and initially I was trying two of my airs here, my x real airs, and I just couldn't get it to work. And so I had the idea to swap out one of the airs for the Vitters. Still wouldn't work. So I stuck in the EDID emulator or EDID emulator dongle. And lo and behold, all of a sudden, both just powered up. And there's Killer Instinct on the Nreal with a sound. And I had to do the audio toggle, but it works. Vitters didn't have to do any kind of special toggling, but you can see in the Vitters, there it is. And it works, no problem at all. This is wireless, 60 gigahertz, Xbox Series X. Um, both glasses are functional. It's been running like this for the past three minutes. Um, oh, also you have the random switch in there. That also works. Um, if I just take this HDMI cable, actually, let me just show you now. I'll just unplug this, all right? And let me plug this in here. I won't knock anything over. Oh, that's upside down. There we go. So I plugged it in. Here's the switch. And there's my switch controller. Just wake her up real quick. Okay. Let's see what we get here. It should come on. Maybe I have to hit the power button first. There we go. There it is. All right. So you can see that switch is definitely on. Look at this. Nintendo Switch, x Real Air. Nintendo Switch, Fitcher. And yeah, everything works here, sound as well, no issues. Um, I'm going to have to figure out how to get my other pair of x Reels working. And I think I just would have to get some generic Eden information on this or just rip the Eden off of the airs, which I already have that. 
I just have to flash it onto this with my edit programmer. And I think that'll that'll take care of the issue. So um, somewhere before the HDMI to USB-C adapter and after the switch, one of these have to have an EDID emulator um, and the EDID profile matching glasses that's on the other side. And it just works. It makes both work. And um, yeah, again, I don't know if somebody has more information on why this works. Um, you know, feel free to let me know. Um, I would like to find out as well. Um, but yeah, I'm just really happy that this is functional. You know, this is the um, what the Vitters can do with their dock. Um, and I know there's been some examples already on the Reddits on, on how this is how this is doable. And I think there might be different HDMI adapters out there. This is a this is an older one, so that's maybe why um, I require this right here. So I might try to get a newer HDMI adapter and see if there's a difference. But uh, yeah, working great. Now I can play some two player with my son on any of those consoles on my entertainment system uh, without issue. So yeah, if you have any questions, peace please post in the comments below. Thanks.